Hey everybody, I'm Mary Love and welcome to Mary Love Country Living. Yesterday, on Monday, when I posted my video, I made a homemade version of chicken flavored rice aroma. And I've also got the recipe for the beef rice and for the Spanish rice rice aroni mix. And a lot of people seem very interested in the Spanish rice one. So tonight for dinner, I'm going to make some enchiladas and uh, some refried beans and the Spanish rice. But we're going to go ahead and get the Spanish rice mix made up so I'll have that much done when supper time gets here. So let's get down here. Let's get y'all down here. And don't worry, I'll raise y'all back up just a little bit. There you go. That way you can see. Let me grab my glasses. For the Spanish rice, it calls for two cups of rice. And I did go ahead and get long grain rice. I looked on the directions and it says just to use like two and a quarter cups of water and bring it to a boil and simmer it until there's no water left. About 15 minutes and then it's done. So I said that'll work. So two cups of rice, one cup of the vermicelli or thin spaghetti broken into small pieces, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of minced onion, two tablespoons of tomato bouillon, which is this right here. I use the Nor brand. Uh, a half a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of minced onions, I don't know if I said that one or not, and then the directions on how to cook it. So, let's get down here, and let's get some pasta put in here. I'm going to go ahead and use up the rest of this orzo. So there's a half a cup, and there's not quite a half a cup, so we're going to add just a little bit of rice. Now then, we're going to add a cup of the rice. I get it in the measuring cup, we will. Okay. Two cups of rice. Well, two cups of rice and a cup of the orzo so it didn't go to waste. And I have found that with the vermicelli noodles, buying them like this, it just takes the whole box. So there's that. Now you can take and break these up a little bit more. There's how long the orzo or the vermicelli is. You could actually break them up smaller. You could probably, if you trusted it, put them through a food processor and break them up just a little bit more. I think I'm going to turn on my air conditioner, y'all. This is pitiful. We'll break up just a few more of them. Eh, that's good enough for me. All right, it calls for a teaspoon of minced onions. Get these out. Teaspoon of minced onions. All right. A teaspoon of salt, and I'm using kosher salt. Uh, half 
a teaspoon of chili powder. Let me make sure. I'm pretty sure that said a half a teaspoon. Yep, half a teaspoon of chili powder. And I'm just using the Great Value brand of chili powder. And two tablespoons of the bouillon, the tomato bouillon. Oh, y'all, I totally messed up. That seasoning wasn't supposed to go in there. I don't know what I was thinking about. Hmm. That was supposed to go in a separate bowl. <laughs> I'll see if I can sip that out. I'm glad I that. Alright. There's the tomato. A teaspoon of minced onion. A teaspoon of kosher salt. A half a teaspoon of chili powder. I think that was all for the seasonings. Uh, salt, minced onion, bouillon, and chili powder. Yep. So now we're just going to mix this up. There's what it looks like. I don't know why I dumped that in that pasta. Alright, let me get a little container down here. And we're going to dump this in here. And when you go to make this, it just takes one and a half tablespoons. But I think I'm going to go ahead and mix up some more of this. Because that don't look like it's going to make very much. All right, half a teaspoon chili powder. Teaspoon of onions. Teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons of bouillon powder. Mix this up. Alright. Now we're going to mix this in here. A double batch of the seasoning. Now I'm going to see if I can get that out and then I'll be right back. Now there might still be a little bit of the seasoning mix in the pasta, but I got out as much as I could. So now we're going to measure this and a cup of the pasta mix. See how many more jars we can get. Not 
got a lot of orzo in our vermicelli in this one, but that's all right. We can always open up another box and add some more to that to make up for that. All right. Now this recipe calls for one and a half tablespoons uh, to cook any flavor of the rice here. Melt two tablespoons of butter. Add in one cup of the rice and pasta mix and cook for just a couple of minutes until it's browned. It's as browned as you want it. Add broth or water, which is one cup. No, two cups. Yeah, two cups of broth or water. Uh, the seasoning for the Spanish rice, add in about one and a half tablespoons of the seasoning mix. Bring it to a boil. Then cover, reduce the heat, and simmer. Let it simmer for about 15 minutes. It is done when the liquid is absorbed and the rice is done. So, we're going to use, well, this is the one I had last night made up already. But I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So, here in a little while, I'll come back and we will get some Spanish rice made. And my enchiladas made. My enchiladas are not anything fancy. But I'm going to make some refried beans. And the Spanish rice. And that's what we're going to have for dinner. So y'all stick around because we'll be back momentarily. Two hours later. Now in this pan right here, I've got two tablespoons of butter. We're going to let that melt. And then we're going to pour in the rice mix. Alright, pour that in. And we're going to let this brown for just a couple of minutes. And then we're going to pour in some water and the seasonings for the Spanish rice. So we're going to let this brown for just a minute. Because this is going to simmer for about 16 minutes, 17 minutes. And I've got hamburger meat over here cooking. I was going to make enchiladas, but I'm thinking burritos because they're more, it's just quicker. To the hamburger meat, I'll add some taco seasoning, some rotel tomatoes, and some um, refried beans and cheese. And that'll be the burritos. Or soft tacos, whatever you want to call it. This is just about done. We're going to let that cook for just another minute. And we're going to let this rice brown. And this, it doesn't take long for this to get brown. So that's a good thing. So how's everybody doing? Let's come over here and stir this hamburger meat again. And I don't have any paper towels right now, so I'm gonna have to spoon the grease out. Which that's fine too, it works. Grab a pot over and a big spoon because we're just going to spoon it back here in this cast iron skillet. 
and stir this rice mix right quick. We don't want it to brown or to burn. This done before. All right, and turn that off for just a moment. And let's come back over here so we can add some water to this. And I got just a little over two cups of water. So there's that. And one and a half tablespoons of the seasoning that we made up. So we're going to let this come to a boil. And then we'll turn it down and let it simmer. And I'm going to let it simmer for about 17 minutes. Or until all the liquid is absorbed and the pasta is done. All right, we'll let that come to a boil. Come back over here to this. There ain't that much grease left in that. I'll say one thing, it don't take that long to come to a boil. Here and grab some taco seasoning right there. All right. We're going to turn this down on simmer. Put the lid on it. Set the timer for 17 minutes. So now let me get some water. Add a little bit of taco seasoning to this water. About a heaping teaspoonful. So about a quarter of a cup of water. We're gonna dump that in. Now I'm gonna open up some Rotel tomatoes. And I'll be right back. Now we're going to add in some tomatoes. Some refried beans. And then I'll add some cheese to it. I was going to do enchiladas, but I'm really not crazy about that red sauce. So, I'd rather just do some burritos like this. Alright, let me turn this oven on to 350. 
50. Let that be heating up because once these are done, and I get them rolled up, then I'm going to put them in a pan with some cheese on the top of them and put them in the oven for just a little bit and let the cheese melt. So, let me stir this rice up. We're going to let that continue cooking, and we'll go ahead and add some cheese. I'm using Kobe Jack. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want. To go on the top of it, I'll use some Fiesta Blend, because there won't be enough of this Kobe Jack to go over the top of it. And there's the burrito mix. And I did add some minced onions to the hamburger meat. All right. There's the burrito mix. We're going to turn that off. As soon as the oven heats up, I'll be right back. Now the oven will be preheated here in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and get these made up. And I'm going to pour just a little bit of the red sauce in the bottom of the dish so that they don't stick. Should have got a brush to kind of brush it a little bit. Alright, that's got that covered. I got four tortillas. So we're going to put some mixture in here. And these won't hold much because they're not very big. They're the medium size tortillas. I should have heated them up, but I didn't. So in that goes, seam side down. thinking I'm gonna have some taco meat left over but that's all right because we can have it I'll have it tomorrow for lunch one more Got those in the pan. We grab some cheese. Excuse me for reaching. Well, let me grab a brush. And we'll brush just a little bit of this sauce on the top of them. Keep them from drying out. Alright, right there will be a plenty. Now we're going to add some cheese. Just a second. Alright, the oven is heated. Now we're going to put in some cheese. Alright, 
And I'm one of them people that I don't think you can have too much cheese. And I will also say, uh, I am no professional cook by no means. This is the way I like to fix it. If you want to fix it some other way that your family will like it, by all means, please do so. For just a few minutes. Turn that other line on. Oh, I'm going to say about 10 minutes, maybe. May not even take that long. We just need the cheese to melt. So back down here to the rice. As you can see, it has absorbed the water. It's got just a couple more minutes to go. We're going to let that keep going, and we'll be back here in just a little bit. Alrighty, this homemade Spanish rice, and my burrito slash enchilada, whatever you want to call it. So, let's see what it tastes like. That's where it's all at in the taste. If it tastes good, you got something. If it don't, you ain't. Well, here we go. If y'all see this video, you'll know it was good. If you don't see it, it didn't make it. <laughs> would I call it Spanish rice? I don't know that I would. It's got the chili powder in it. Not very much. I think you might need to add a little more of the chili seasoning, the chili, yeah, chili powder, whatever it's called. It's good. It's really good. But you can't taste that chili powder in it at all. So... I don't know about that. I don't know exactly what all is in Spanish rice. If anybody, if, if y'all know what's actually in it, leave me a comment. Let me know. Because if nobody told me that was supposed to be Spanish rice, I wouldn't know that it was. What makes it taste Spanish? That's what I need to know. What makes it taste Spanish? Mm. Maybe I should have added some Rotel tomatoes to it. Maybe that would have done it. Mm. <laughs> I think that might have done it. But it is good. So, I will make it again. But I think next time, I might add some Rotel tomatoes to it. That might be what helps it out. One more bite. Yummy. Doesn't that look good? That is so good. Mm. Home run. That's a good dinner. It's quick. It's easy. Didn't cost a lot to make. <clears throat> That's right up my alley, y'all. But with that, I'm going to close this up. And like I said, the rice is good. But it just needs something more to make it Spanish rice. It needs that little kick of something. But I'll play around with it. But with that, 
I'm going to leave the recipe in the description box below. I hope y'all have a wonderful evening. God bless. Take care. And until we meet again, I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Bye now.